Hey buddies, it's your girl Christine, and today we're checking out Alama Arts Animation. This is a bus stop horror story animated. I know we're outside of October, so if you want to send me Christmas related stuff, use hashtag iChristineMiss. So it's iChristine, my name. If you're like, how do I spell your name? It's on the channel. Just look, you'll see it. And then M-A-S right after it. Um, but we are going to check this one out today and see what kind of horror this thing is going to make me feel. I, I don't have to go to a bus stop right now because I drive, thank God. But um, let's see how this scares me from ever going to a bus stop, like ever. And you too. We'll probably never take buses ever again after watching this. Link is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. A bus stop horror story. This happened when I was 17 years old. Okay. I would go to the gym three to four times a week and mm -hmm. ride the bus home. Mm. It was a Sunday and I had just missed my bus, oh, so yeah. I had to wait longer for another one. Oh. I okay. would have called that my sucks. parents, but they were out for the evening. Oh. And taxis charged more. True. So I decided to sit and wait in the bus shelter. Okay. It was a cold night and oh. the snow had just started peppering the oh, ground. The snow. My bus was taking longer than usual, so mm -hmm. I got my phone out and listened to some music. Mm. Almost an hour had passed. Okay. It was freezing How and I hadn't seen bus? anyone at all. That was until I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. What? It was a creepy guy dressed in thick layers of clothing, okay. walking slowly towards me. Okay. I knew staring at him would draw more attention, right. so I just focused on my phone. Right. He sat down at the other end of the shelter and mm -mm. just stared at me. Mm -mm. There was something off about him. Yeah, everything. It seemed like he was either drunk or on drugs. Poor... He guy? then asked, What does the boss do? Um, I took out my earphones and said, I think it's delayed because of the snow. Oh dear. He stared at me for no. a while, then started mumbling. He should have said, Any minute now, or it should be coming soon. Uh, it's, it should be coming soon. Because whenever anybody, this is what I learned. Whenever anybody comes to you randomly, it feels uncomfortable. You feel the aura of this is th something uncomfortable. And they ask you anything time related, like how long does something come? How, um, what time are you leaving? What time, anything. Always make it seem like whatever is going to happen is going to happen soon. Because a lot of the times if somebody has malintent, like they have the intention of doing something bad, they're asking you about something time related because they want to know how much time they have to do that bad thing. So lesson to all, okay, um, if someone's like, hey, if you're at a bus stop, what time is the bus coming? Oh, it should be here any minute. That's what you should say. Like, don't, you know, and that's if you feel uncomfortable. Even if you do feel comfortable, unless you know this person, tell them that that issue is going to happen soon. That way, if anybody has malintent, they'd maybe be more dissuaded to, to and I was going to say dissuaded not to do it, but that's too negative. So persuaded not to do it because they won't have a lot of time to do whatever it is that they were planning to do. So To himself. He yeah. was really starting to creep me out, yeah. so I pretended to be it. on my phone. Okay. After a couple of minutes, I took another look. He moved closer to me. Uh uh. I looked away for a second, then heard the sound of him sliding even closer. Uh uh. I turned to him and said, You okay there? Yeah. He stared at me with glossy eyes. Okay. Lifted his arm and leaned towards me. What? Immediately, I grabbed my oh bag my and ran as he fell to the ground. What the heck was he going to do? I ran down the road, trying my hardest not to look back. No, look back. I kept going until I got to the next bus stop. Okay. I turned around to check to see if he was there. He was gone, so I went to sit down. Okay. Feeling relieved, I rested my head on the back of the glass no, and don't waited do that. for the bus. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Oh, is that it? No, it's not. I jolted and turned around to see the same oh, guy my staring at me through the glass. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, what are you doing? Then he started walking around the shelter towards me. Mm-mm. I'm warning you, stay back. I yelled in panic as I was backing up. Okay. I wanted to run, but I left my bag in the shelter oh and my I couldn't goodness. leave without it. Suddenly, the man leaped at me and I quickly oh my moved gosh. out of the way. He fell to the ground face first. What is up with this guy? I froze in shock, then noticed the blood coming from his face. Oh my goodness. I tried to get a response out of him, oh but my... nothing worked. Okay. I called the police and paramedics and they arrived shortly after. All right. I told them what had happened, and uh -huh. they told me that the guy was on prescription drugs. Oh, dear. They found a photo in his wallet of him and his son. 
Oh, the boy dear. looked just like me, so we assumed he thought I was him. Oh. I later learned that he had lost his son in a custody battle and went off the rails. Oh my gosh. He was taken away for treatment. That was the last I saw of him. Oh my goodness. I got my driver's license shortly after. Yeah, okay, drive forever. And have never been on a bus since. Oh, you saw that man creeping in the bushes there? Y'all saw that, right? Okay, while well, this man was driving. I've never been on a bus. Right since. there. Creepo. Okay, that is sad. That it was creepy. It was definitely creepy, and the guy was a creepo. But it's sad because now you understand. Like he was probably going in to grab the kid, be, to hug him, you know, because he was so high. He thought that that was his son. Um, it sucks that he was like knocked out in the street, you know. And I'm glad that more than likely he didn't have bad intention, uh, uh, malintent or bad intentions within him to do anything wrong. I mean, we don't know that for sure, but it was less likely. Since he thought it was his son, he lost his son in a custody battle. He's high, he's thinking this is his son. He's probably leaping to hug him. And um, it's sad that that happened. Being this guy, I do not blame him for anything he did in regards to running away and like trying to get to another bus stop. Um, it's nice of him to call the cops because if that guy had like, if that had happened to me and he leapt and landed and I saw blood coming out, I'm running. I'm still, I'll, I'll still call the cops, but I'm not standing over him while this is happening. Cause I don't, I don't have a complete understanding of what's happening right now. This guy just leaps and he's on the ground and blood's coming out of his face. Um, I'm, I may not even yell to see if the guy's alive. I'm not going to lie. Because I would be too afraid. Like, what is, why are you leaping at me? I have no idea what's going on. So I'll run down the street. And while I'm running down the street, I'll be, I'll call the police. Like, hey, on this street, this guy did this, blah, 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 yada, yada. Or at least I'll run far enough where I can still see him to make sure he doesn't like just disappear and just run away. Um, but I'm not gonna be close enough where he can touch me or grab me or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, I commend this guy for having the heart to stand over the guy and make sure that the paramedics came and talked to the police, all that ish. You got a good heart, bruh. Better heart than me. Um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think? I do feel bad for the guy. Like, I feel bad for both people in this situation, I'm not gonna lie. Let me know your thoughts. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Yama Arts. Yama Arts, I'm speak that's Spanish, because the two L's. <laughs> Yama, Yama Arte because of the two L's, Llama Arts. If you like this video, hug the like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies, toodles.